Well, now to our weather and the cleanup from a very windy night. KCAL 9 weathercaster Danielle Gersh is live in Valley Village with a look at the trees that came down. Danielle? Hi, Lena. Yeah, it's still breezy here, but 24 hours ago where I'm standing, the winds were much stronger. In fact, they were so strong, they sent a tree into the house behind me and even caused a water main break. The sound of whipping wind replaced by bulldozers and chainsaws. The strong winds that ripped through the Southland Monday night sent this tree crashing into this Valley Village home. Initially, I didn't hear it. My son did, and he came running in and says, is that an earthquake? North winds were gusting near 50 miles an hour when it happened. Ed Bunning has lived next door for 44 years. When he hears the winds howling, he worries. I was very nervous. My wife even wouldn't sleep in the front bedroom. She went in the back in case the tree came down. <laughs> He's not alone. People who live here say winds uproot many any problems. We had a tree fall here on our roof about 10 years ago. Felt like maybe we were in another state. Robert Ryan lives across the street. He once had a tree fall on his house too. When I walked out and saw the tree on top of the house, I thought, well, here we go again. He says over the years, the street's landscape has changed dramatically. 33 years ago, it was a tunnel like this grotto of these beautiful trees. And what happened is they started dying and falling. And for the people who called this house home, well, they don't live here yet. The new owners have not moved in, but they're going to see a tree on top of their house welcoming them to the street. And lucky for them, they were able to remove the tree from the house this afternoon. But check out these roots. This is what's left of a Chinese elm tree that could have been anywhere from 50 to 75 years old that went crashing down on that house. For a closer look at more of the wind damage we saw across the Southland, KCAL 9's Jasmine Beal. Those gusty winds left their mark here in this park as well in Mission Hills. Look at this large branch that snapped off and that tree behind me also hit as well by those very strong winds. In Sherman Oaks, crews worked through the night to remove the tree from Sunny Slope Avenue and get the street back open. More trees toppled in Whittier. Wow, it's pretty windy here. So as cleanup continues, power is slowly being restored and hopefully everyone back online by this afternoon. Here in Mission Hills, Jasmine Veal, KCAL 9 News.